Hello everyone, you are welcome to my channel. Um, in today's episode, we shall be discussing uh, the issue uh, with African migrants and the Mediterranean Sea. The topic is, every bag has a story. Every bag has a story. When we say every bag has a story, what do we mean? It means that all the bags you are seeing here, it belongs to a soul that perish in the Red Sea. They perish in the Mediterranean Sea. They left their home, they left their brothers, they left their sisters, they left their loved ones coming to Europe by, by sea. Is it, do you think it's a good thing to travel by sea? To, to Europe, in your home, you have a house, you have a father, you have a mother, you have a brother, sister, family who love you and care about you so much. One day you just embark on a journey, you may end up in the Mediterranean Sea and become a, a male for the, for the fish shark. Because anybody advises you to come to Europe that you are going to cross the Mediterranean Sea. I don't think someone who loves you will advise you to do so. A brother, a sister, any mother, any father who love their children. When you send your son or your daughter to cross the Mediterranean Sea, it's like you are telling that person, because there are so many languages I cannot use here because uh, uh, YouTube may not accept it. You are just telling that person that he should go and end up and say bye forever. You know, the person should go and just, you know, take his or her life, which is not good. You know, uh, money is good, but life is very important. If you are poor today, that does not mean that you are going to end up poor. Or you might end up poor like that for the rest, but there might be a chance that you might make it. If today is bad, it does not mean that tomorrow is going to be bad. So I don't advise anyone to cross the Mediterranean Sea to come to Europe. Every bag has a story. The bag you are seeing here belongs to a soul it could belong to a father some people left their wife so and their children it could belong to a mama if some people left their husband they left their children <laughs> there are all those bags even there are some who travel who don't have that kind of bag who didn't have a bag who may have a plastic bag but those bags belong to his soul. There are so many people who are there in the Mediterranean Sea. You know, if somebody asks you to come to Europe by road, I don't think it's a good advice by road, by the Mediterranean Sea. The, my, the chance of you surviving it is just by 10%, 90% you might end up in the Mediterranean Sea. So anybody who loves you will not advise you to go on that journey. You know, you coming to Europe by, by road, does that mean that you are going to make it? I don't think so. You still can make it in your home, in your country. The person who, who, who have no plan, you couldn't have a plan in your home, you couldn't plan to be able to do something in a country that where you have a father, you have a mother, you have uncle, you have auntie. You couldn't do anything to survive there. You couldn't, so what do you think you can, if you couldn't study in your country? I know that there are so many people, it's not that they didn't have money, but they just couldn't study. So if you couldn't study, you could not even finish primary school. So when are you coming, when you come to abroad, what are you going to do? Do you? Consider that. What are you going to do? So why are you risking your life? If you know if you are a farmer in your country, you still can be a successful farmer. Whatever you are doing, you just need to have a plan. But you crossing the Mediterranean Sea, my brothers and my sister, I don't think it's a good thing. If you have opportunity of coming to Europe by air, 
that's fine but <laughs> you have asked somebody if that person to cross the mediterranean sea if that person end up the, that person blood you have a hand in it so there will be a blood in your hand i don't think it's a good thing for you to advise somebody to cross that mediterranean sea you might not see that person again so i'm going to you know just give you some news how did some of the uh the, the un how the un uh, you know uh, bring the news out every bag has a story Every bag has a story. The bag of the migrants who died in the Mediterranean Sea were now collected and placed in an Italian museum to be remind the tragedy of refugees. The bags of the migrants who died at the Mediterranean Sea were collected and placed in the Italian museum on the island of Lampedusa. Lampedusa. Written on it, every bag has a story. That is a story. They begin the story, but they did not return. All this bag you are seeing here, they belong to a brother, they belong to a sister, they belong to nephew, they belong to cousins, they belong to nieces, they belong to aunties, and they belong to uncles, they belong to fathers, they belong to mandan. Is it what? You know, <laughs> let's continue. Dozens of migrants die in the shipwreck of Libya. You know, this is the one from UN. At least many migrants and refugees, including children, have died in the deadly Sheikh Rick of Libya this year. You know? So what they are telling you that how many people they are so they could not even recover they could not recover them, but <laughs> they cannot even find their bag. This one they show you say here. Okay, let's continue. From January to September this year, which is 2021. From January to September this year, 2021, which year now where I'm doing this video in, de in December 11. It was estimated that 1,369 migrants died while crossing the Mediterranean Sea. In 2020, the number of deaths amounted to 1.4 thousand. However, the accurate number of deaths recorded in the Mediterranean Sea cannot ascertain. Between the 2024 and 2018, between 2014, sorry about that, between 2014 and 2018, for instance, about 12,000 people who we are drawn, we are never found. So those bags belong to those people who we are never found. Is that a good thing? All these bags you are seeing here, they belong to somebody. And they were drawn and they were never found. Casualty and the missing people. Worldwide, it was estimated that 8,000 people died in the attempt of fleeing their country. According to the according to estimator, over five thousand refugees lost their life in the attempt to reach the Europe in 2026. Therefore, the Mediterranean Sea where was the deadliest migration route. Indeed, over the last couple of years, the Mediterranean Sea had the largest number of casualty and the missing people. So the Mediterranean Sea now, you know, the people that are missing, there are a lot of people in the Mediterranean Sea. Brothers and sisters, life is very precious. Life is very, very important. And life has no duplicates. You see what? I know that the, uh, Africa have a very bad system of government. The leaders, they don't know they are left from their right. They don't know what they are doing. But it doesn't want you uh, risking your life for. You know, so many people are sick. They have no good heads. But you have a good head. You are want to risk it in the Mediterranean Sea. Because of what? If here even the life of a dog matters. Not to talk of you joking with your life because you want to come to Europe. 
So what do you think if you could not study in your country? If you are coming to abroad to come and study, you get your necessary documents, you come and study. You can come to United Kingdom, you come and study. If you have your papers, you, you, are, you, have your, you, are, you are educated. If you are a bus driver, for instance, or you could not study, so you just jump, you just come to Europe, and what do you think you are going to be doing? That is the question. What if you couldn't figure out something to be doing in your country? So what, what do you think you are going to do? Some people will have a business. They already have a plan. Some people have education. Some people did not finish, but they still have idea. So when those people come to UK or any other country, they will be able to study. It's not that you a bus driver, you a carpenter, a mechanic, who could not even finish primary school. You want to come to Europe to come and do what? There are so many people who are here in Europe. They are in, uh, Medi they are in uh, Italy, uh, Spain, uh, 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 what do you call it, uh, in France. They, are, they, they end up begging money as a beggar because they, ha they, they, are, they don't have a plan while they were in Africa. So they will not be able to have a plan here. What do you think? You think you just come to Europe, you just start picking money on the, on, the, on the floor? No. If you couldn't figure out something to do in your country, so what are you going to do in another person's country? Let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, people are not going to tell you the secrets, what is going on in, our, in abroad. You understand? What is going on? They are not going to tell you. When you, are, you, there are so many, when they, when you come to the United Kingdom, the first thing they will tell you, care job. That is what most of them are doing. Care job. What is care job? You're going to be, there is, you are going to be looking after somebody who is sick. You will be changing pampas. In your country, will you be changing pampas for a living, for a daily bread? And when, after changing that pampas, government will take their tax. The government does not care what you do to get that money. They are after your pay slip. By the time you pay your, uh, you pay the tax, the N9 and everything, you need to pay your rent. You need to if your brother or your neighbor, you know, cross the Mediterranean Sea to Europe, to Italy, to Spain, to any part of Europe, to Italy, to Germany, if they cross it, that does not mean that you will cross it. Because crossing to Europe by uh, uh, we sea, is a chance of 90 to 90 it's only 10 percent a chance of surviving is it what losing your life because you want to come to europe uh, in your home i would like you to watch this video please brothers and sisters especially those of you with kids you cannot be crossing that sea with your little ones there are so many ways you can make it in life. It's not by just, if you have the opportunity by air, okay, but crossing the Red Sea is not advisable. I don't advise you to do that. So many people are missing and wish their relative, their loved one does not even know where they are. They are missing, they are in the Red Sea. They become a meat for shark, which is so sad. You see, can make it. I know that Africa has a very bad system of government, but there are still people who are there eating good, who don't need to change pampas for a living. You don't need to change pampas for a living while you are in your country. You can be a farmer and be a successful farmer. There are so many things you can do. If you cannot stay in the city, look for a village and go. You can be a, 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 a successful farmer. In whatever you do, if you focus and you plan, you will make it. It does not risk. It does not what you risking your life to cross the Mediterranean Sea. Because you want to come to Europe. You want to go to where? Italy. By, by you are coming through the Mediterranean Sea. Please, I would like you to watch this video because I don't, there are so many pictures I will not be able to show you on this video because of uh, YouTube will not accept it, but it's not, it's advisable. I'm not, 
I don't think it's a nice thing, brother, if you love your parents, your, your, you still want to see that it doesn't want you crossing the Mediterranean Sea to come to Europe. There are so many things. I remember a time somebody came to ask me for, I think it was $500 because he want to, he got a visa, he want to go to the Netherlands, the Netherlands. But, you know, I, I couldn't, I didn't have the $500 to give to the person. He got it because he was just looking for BTA. You know, the, the visa expired. I, he asked so many people, you know, sometimes every disappointment is a blessing. The guy, he didn't come to Europe, but he became a successful uh, politician in Nigeria. How can you leave your, you are studying at university, you just jump out, you want to jump the Mediterranean Sea to come to 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 europe what are you going to be doing you you know cleaning what are you going to be doing you can make it in your home there is no place like home you know i know of a brother the, the brother bought him a ticket to come to 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 one of the europe country i don't want to mention it the brother got a visa for him and he paid for the ticket and everything. The brother made sure he got a paper for him so that he would not have issue with the police. When the brother was leaving, he left him behind. And you know what he told his brother? He said, there is no place like home. Home is home. There is no place like home. Brothers and sisters, if you want to come to Europe, it doesn't mean that you have to risk your life to come by air, uh, to come by, by sea. If you take the, the, the sea, it's just like somebody who want to gamble with your life. It's only 10% chance of you surviving, 10%. 90% you might end up in the Red Sea. Um, thank you so much uh, for watching my video. Until I come your way next time with another interesting story, and please, if you are not subscribed yet, don't forget, please consider subscribing. You subscribing to my channel, my YouTube channel, it will make other people to find my videos. Thank you so much. Bye for now. Until I come your way next time. Bye.